My name is Tara Wigley. I did the Ballymaloo 12 week course in 2010 uh, at Easter time. I had twins with me who were 18 months old. Also, they're a great big dog called Andy. And I turned up on the course slightly thinking that everyone else would have children and dogs. And it was full of kind of footloose and fancy free 18 year olds. And then people who were sort of in their 50s, 60s, equally footloose and fancy free. But being Ireland, it wasn't a problem. I just found someone in Ballycotton who would look after these twins. She had this great big fish tank, which I think they just sat in front of for three months, looking at the fish going round and round. And then they found a hurling stick and off they went. After the course, after about six months, I went for an interview at the Noppy Ottolenghi restaurant, which was just newly opened. And I had a really lovely chat with Sarit Packer, who's Honey and Co., fame who's done some great demos at Ballymaloo and she just said to me what are you doing like, I just don't see how you're trying to make this work like if you look around kitchens there are not many other young mums and I thought Christ, what am I doing because I'd retrained I'd left my career in publishing to sort of take this jump into Ballymaloo world so then I went off by myself and I was filling up people's fridges and freezers for a few months in North London thinking is this going to work out sort of with Darina's voice in my head saying, you can do it, it's okay, just jump in. And then I got a call out the blue one day um, and I normally never pick up my phone, I've got real phonophobia. And I did pick it up and it was this guy saying, hi, it's Yossi Matalengi. I've heard that you've got background in writing and editing and words, but you've also got interest in food and you're, uh, a, you know, you're a cook, but you're not a professional chef. And I'm looking for someone who's got all these skills as someone who's not a professional chef um, and not even a professional writer but someone slightly falling between all these these worlds and I thought it was my husband pretending to be Yossam because he was my complete hero I was like Chris what are you doing why are you even phoning me and I'm like is this Yossam Maslany and that was sort of that was it that was the Thursday and then I turned up at his door on the Monday and we were currently working out of his flat in Notting Hill so it was just me and him in this sort of intimate space. My husband was very happy that he was married to a man. And we did that for about a year or two, working on, that was on just the Guardian columns. And I would drive his electric car off to Westfield, which was the most nerve wracking part of the job. And then we'd come back and chop and, and cook and he'd be at his desk or his big sort of kitchen table. And then every time I was ready with all my kind of mise en place in place, he would jump up and then we would taste it and test it and then do it again and I would write it up and then cycle home thinking is this a dream <laughs> and then and then I went off and had Casper uh, my third kid and then came back and by the time I came back a year later we'd moved into a bit more of a professional setup in a test kitchen in Camden and then we were working as a team on plenty more and then we did the noppy cookbook and then we did sweet full of sweet things simple which was massive then I've just finally got my own name on my on the the spine of a book which is a massive moment and a complete dream come true if someone had told me at Ballymaloo that my name would be on a spine reflecting sort of Yotam's name on so you've got you've got Jerusalem with Sami Tamimi and Yotam Otlengi and then you've got Palestine which is the Palestinian sister book to Jerusalem and it says Sammy Tamimi and Tara Wigley, and it's it's mad. It was just amazing. I'd never, ever come across people with such passion for produce. I'd never come across someone like Darina Allen, this force of nature who just didn't stop. I just never met anyone like her. I never, ever tasted rocket like the rocket I ate on the way back to my little flat from the cookery school at the end of the day. It just blew my mind. Uh, my advice is just to turn up and take it all in and not have a plan and just be receptive to everything. Yeah, not have a clear plan about what's going to happen. And then, and then also cut yourself some slack when you finish the course because you'll shoot in all directions and get balls rolling because you've spent a lot of money. There's a lot at stake, you know, this is real. And you get out of the bubble and then you come back to your little world. Um, but just trust, just trust, just trust in the force of Dorita Allen and all things Ballymaloo.